Hey guys, welcome back. It's day 13 and I'm Ben Cunnington joining you again uh, and we're talking about talking about sex with the opposite sex. This is really important and something that if you've never thought of, if you've never done before, I want to encourage you being proactive, being intentional about communication and actually flexing that muscle of even communicating as a man. I know sometimes we as men aren't as, uh, that doesn't come as natural or as easy, uh, just communicating, you know, our feelings, our desires, but it's, it's critical, especially in a dating relationship, in something that you're, if this is a relationship that you are looking to move into engagement and marriage, it's just important to, to communicate early about what are our boundaries going to be, what are, what are, how are we going to approach our physical relationship? What are we going to allow? What are we not going to allow? And we need to come together and come up with a plan that we both agree to. And But it really is our job as men to initiate that and to help carry that out and lead in that because it, it really has to do with protecting, honoring, valuing, and, and actually showing love to the woman in, in that you're in a relationship with. And, and she's going to respect that if you are the one that's leading, that's initiating uh, and saying, honey, because I care so much about you and I want to protect us in this relationship, I want to set up boundaries. I want to make sure we're on the same page. I want to make sure we do it right. I want to make sure we have accountability in our lives like we talked about yesterday. Accountability is key and important. And we just want to, we don't want to just stumble into purity because that just, that just rarely happens, but that's we don't want to have a bare minimum standard. We want to be men that have high standards, that walk in integrity, that walk in a way that protects and honors and respects the woman that we're trying to woo and trying to um, uh, just build relationship with and grow and, and, and carry out into marriage. And so I want to encourage you, if you've never done it, Find a man that's, that's married, that has experience, that you respect and admire. Ask him to come alongside you and say, hey, this is what I want to do, but um, you know, if you have any tips for me, help me articulate it um, in, in a practical way. Help me come up with some boundaries, and, and I encourage you to write them down uh, you know, and present them, communicate it, have, have uh, you know, great conversation with your, wi with your, <laughs> with your wife, with your uh, girlfriend, and... And uh, I just want to encourage you, I'm going to pray for you, that, uh, that the Lord would just give us courage as men to communicate and to uh, be men that hold the standard and that uh, protect the women in our lives. So Lord, I thank you for these men. I thank you for these men of God who desire to walk in purity, that desire to walk in integrity. And so I ask that you would give them grace in the area of communication, give them grace to have conversations that are that are going to set them up for success. Give them tools, give them men in their lives that they can look up to and that they can uh, just have around them to uh, guard, gird them and, and just encourage them. So Lord, bless these men and we just, uh, we just say that we are in this until the end. So bless you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. i